Attractiveness. What do we mean by attractiveness? Of course, we mean being more appealing to the opposite sex. This video is going to cover that. But at the same time, we also mean being more magnetic and more compelling. It means being the kind of person that others want to be friends with, that others want to impress, and that others want to work with. It literally means being someone who can attract other people to you. And one of the ways you can do this is by being confident socially, which we have just discussed, and by being charismatic. Ultimately, attractiveness harkens back to our evolutionary history. Our emotions and our social behavior have evolved to help us survive in small communities during our development. We will thus always gravitate towards people that we think can help us survive, or that we think can help us to pass on our DNA. Thus, we are attractive to members of the opposite sex who appear physically healthy and fertile, and who have resources and means to look after us and our offspring. And in dating, and other areas of our life, we look for people who we believe to be of a higher rank to us socially. We want to associate with people who are more capable than us, because that can raise our own rank, giving us access to better resources and better mates. This still drives so much of human behavior. So much of human behavior is driven by this need to gain status, to fit in, and to demonstrate that we belong at the top of the food chain, and it all comes down to survival of our DNA. A woman wears lipstick because it makes her look more fertile. Rosy lips are a sign of youth, and that in turn will make her more desired and therefore raise her status among her peers. Men and women buy large screen TVs because it can demonstrate their abundant resources and thus means that they have something more to offer. Did you really think you were spending all that money for a tiny bit more visual fidelity watching Game of Thrones? Likewise, why do you think people sacrifice so much of their lives working towards promotions and important sounding job titles? Of course, this is largely unconscious, but we are still all driven by the same things we were as cavemen. We touched on how this plays into our impressions of someone earlier. This is why it is a mistake to try to impress someone, and it is why being nervous in a social situation can be so destructive to our success. If you are with a group of attractive high flyers, and you seem confident, and you act completely yourself, then you are communicating that you aren't worried what they think. On an unconscious level, this leads them to think that you must therefore be of the same status or higher. You must have some reason to be as confident as you are. And that in turn means they now think you are of equal or even higher status. This makes you attractive. In dating, this is incredibly important. Walk over to an attractive man or woman and try to impress them and you are sending signals that you aren't worth them dating. That makes you instantly less attractive. How to pick up people in bars. So, this is where the concept of pickup artist techniques come in. Many of these are designed to make yourself appear higher on the pecking order than the person you were speaking to. An example would be the neg, which is essentially a backhanded compliment. You might go up to a stunning woman and say, you look incredible, even in what you're wearing. This brazen statement makes you appear confident and it makes her feel slightly less confident. And human nature dictates that she will now want to impress you. This reportedly works wonders for some people, but it's unfortunately a rather cynical and unkind approach to dating. We're going to see in a moment just how important likability is, and at the same time, we're going to see that people don't want to hang out with people who make them feel bad. Worse is the chance that people might see you through your game. And this makes you appear sleazy, cruel, and very much unattractive. So, plan B is to send the exact same signal along with more signals of confidence while making yourself appear likable. To do this, you first scope out someone you want to talk to. My advice is to test the waters a little first by simply smiling, and if they smile back, you know that you can go over there. Now chat with the person you are interested in. But likewise, chat with the group of friends they're with if they're with one, and spend almost equal time with them. This demonstrates that you are confident and outgoing. It shows that you're fun and likable. And it also suggests that you aren't just after one thing. Now you seem like someone who is just very outgoing and confident, and they will question whether you're interested in them. Better yet, they may feel competitive with their friends. Of course, if things go well, you can simply then find an opportunity to take the object of your affections to one side and offer to buy them a drink. Alone at the bar, 
you can then make your move. But the point is that by being chatty and confident with his or her friends, you make yourself a lot more attractive. And by not desperately focusing all your attention on that person, you come across as much more appealing too. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.